Hi. Welcome to OBS Update Day. Well, at least it's update day as I'm filming this. You're getting this a couple days later. But OBS 30 just came out. If you haven't updated it yet, uh, let me tell you some of the fun stuff. This is uh, this is one of my favorite kinds of OBS updates. It's not a world-breaking update. I'm just going to share with you four things, but they're all quality of life upgrades that I think I will notice every single day. And for me, that's a big win. So let's make this a quick one. Have you be on your way changing the way you use OBS? Does that sound like a plan? You know what's something they didn't add to this new version of OBS? An easy way to take your live streams and cut it into clips and compilations for your social media platforms. Well, then maybe it's a good thing I'm telling you a free way to do that. And it's with the sponsor of today's video, Sizzle.gg, which by the way, they also have a $25 cash giveaway at the end of this sponsor segment. So hang around for that. Sizzle.gg is a great and free way to take your live streams and have a robot cut it into either clips or compilations or highlights for all your social media platforms, both horizontal and vertical. You don't need to know how to edit. You don't even have to have any editing software. It just does it for you. All you have to do is go to sizzle.gg, sign up for a free account, link it with your Twitch or YouTube channel, wherever you stream, and then Sizzle just watches your live streams, finds the best moments, and cuts it into clips and compilations for you. It's pretty wild. In fact, the system is so sophisticated that you can even filter it by kills, headshots, knockdowns, sniper kills, and victories. When you select one of your previous live streams for them to edit for you, you just let them know what game you were playing and it does the rest. And with one click, you can share it to any social media platform. Enjoy that free edited content helping you reach a larger audience and grow your social media following. I say this every time because I love these guys, but this really is one of those work smarter, not harder kind of tools that I, I can't I can't think of a reason for you not to be using it. And as for the $25 giveaway, Sizzle is going to pick two of you that sign up for a free account and PayPal you $25 cash. It's free money. So go to the link in the description down below, sign up for sizzle.gg, start getting some free clips and highlights and compilations and maybe $25 for whatever you might need $25 for. Let's talk about OBS. Four things that I felt were important to talk about with the new OBS, four things that will change the way I personally use OBS, and I'm pretty sure at least one will do the same for you. The first one is for all of you that have ever downloaded a plugin, have it crash OBS and not be able to launch OBS because it just continues to keep crashing. This is launching in safe mode. So if OBS ever notices a crash and asks if you want to relaunch the software, it'll ask you, do you wanna relaunch it in safe mode? Which basically just relaunches it without any plugins, which will allow you to, one, well, obviously safely launch OBS without the buggy plugin, but also manage all the plugins that you need to remove certain plugins that you need. Super chill. And Number two, this is for Mac users. And as someone who doesn't often stream off his Mac, but uses it to capture or screen record content for his YouTube videos, you can now capture audio from specific applications on your Mac. And if you're capturing your display, you can hide OBS from showing up in that screen capture. Both super useful, simplifying the whole experience. I'm a fan. But it's number three and four that had me spending about an hour at my, well, you can kind of see this, this mod, there you go, there's OBS right there. These two cleaned up my entire OBS monitor. I'm super pumped about it. First thing is you can have full height docks, which means if you want chat, which is probably what most of you are gonna use it for, chat going from the top all the way down to the bottom of your OBS window, you can do that. You can even do multiple docks full height. Just so much more flexibility. I used to have the main OBS window and then a separate window for chat, which by the way, have any of you ever opened up OBS chat and the top part is above the top of your monitor so you can't Move it? <laughs> How does that even happen? What's the fix for that? Anyway, I don't have to worry about that ever again. That used to happen like once a week to me, but now it's permanently docked on the side of OBS. I have everything in a single window. Makes me so happy. And speaking of being in a single window, the fourth thing that I'm pumped about is direct YouTube integration with their, what's it called? Dashboard, with their live dashboard. So if you stream to YouTube, you don't have to have the YouTube live dashboard also open on a different browser. You can get your chat, you can change the name of your stream, you can see your viewers, all the information you need of your stream directly in a docked OBS window. I spent an hour redoing my entire OBS layout. This is what it looks like, by the way, if you wanna maybe take some notes, I think it's the most optimal setup you can get right now, at least until they allow you to sign into both Twitch and YouTube at the same time, and we can now multi-stream. Let me sign into both at the same time so I can have two different chats on there and two different dashboards on there. I don't have to pick which one is signed in, you know? Maybe version 31. I'd love to see that. But anyway, do you have any questions about that? Do you have any questions or critiques on my OBS doc at the moment? If you have none, just leave whatever your top emoji is on your keyboard down in the comments because, you know, engagement. 
helps out a bunch. And like the video while you're down there. And subscribe while you're down there, all the things. I just want to see the little buttons light up when I said those words, because that's kind of cool. Anyway, hope this helps, and as always, happy streaming.